Welcome to Commander Brito Ruski Ski. Hello everyone, welcome to Commander Britoroskiski and as many of you know today we are going to be doing another reaction video don't worry, Estonia is Russia is coming out soon anyway, today we have um, Strange Stories, Attack of the Dead Men now personally um, I don't know much about this I've heard that it's in the First World War though and as many of you know I don't like Russia in the First World War because it's uh, very Tsarist and it's got a monarch instead of communist dictator so I'm not sure how much I'm gonna like this video but let's watch Attack of the Dead Men. quick 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 before we continue make sure to subscribe to Simple History I'm sure they make great content I haven't seen any of it yet though it is World War One. I was right. The fortress was constructed in the 19th century by the Russian Empire in what is now northeastern Poland to defend its borders against Germany. Polska. In the First World War, the fortress would be heavily contested between German attackers and Russian defenders. The Germans had made their first assault onto the fortress in September 1914. Yeah, the, Rus the Russians kicked the... Um, Germans ass in a, in a lot of the battles, but I'm pretty but in the end obviously Germany won and the USSR was born Which is why I kind of like Germany now Using large caliber artillery guns bombarding the fortress for six days After Six days Russia yes Good To be honest, Tsarist Russia was weak. It was good. They had good ho high hopes. The Germans. We need to take down the Tsarist government, and that is why I love Germany. The fortress was bombed with intensity, including from the air, which it was presumed by the German command would cause the quick surrender of its Russian defenders. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised it didn't. Strong. Russia, Russia is strong. Oh, von Hindenburg. Okay, this, this is why I really don't like Russians. If you're gonna go into a war, use manpower. Attack with manpower. Don't use some pussy chlorine gra g gas or mustard gas. Stop. Just, just fight like real men. Pussies. Hate the Germans. That must have been so scary. Jeez. So I'm not sure where. Oh, I'm not sure where the dead men come in at this point. But it seems like the Germans are kicking the uh, Tsarist Russians' ass. Yes, comrades! This. Keep attacking, my boys. This is the greatest moment in Russian history. Look at this. Jeez. The Russians got wrecked. Oh, I mean the Germans got wrecked. Oh, <laughs> that was disgusting. Oh, yeah, I would be scared to be Russian at the moment. Survivors 
of the Osovich fortress evacuated. The newspapers would later call this the attack of the dead man. And it, that's good. It was the attack of the dead man. So, comrades, you might think, what did I think of this video? Personally, I thought it was really well made. I liked the animation. It it was very good. Um, so about the dead men, I am not sure how they survived the gas attack. I mean, may I mean, it looked like they were dying. Obviously, spitting parts of their lungs out. Now, obviously, as a Russian, I would fight for my country every day. But I'm not sure if I would like to, you know, get hit by chlorine gas. It, yeah, that that was very weird. I would have hated to be German, to be honest. It, it was brutal. Yeah, very brutal. Not. Yeah, the First World War is not very looked at as such a terrible... Most people look at the trenches, but the Eastern Front, just like World War Two, terrible things happened as well. Uh, make sure to subscribe to Commander Bitoroskiski, me, Simple History. Um, make sure to watch the video. And yeah, um, comrades, make sh subscribe and make sure to let communism strike again! <laughs>